Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I do have a download for you. This download may be a little tricky. Um, Beneath, beyond your level of consciousness, there is a new birth, growth, newness that needs to be tended to and nurtured. And it almost gives the question, well, if this is beyond my level of consciousness, then how do I tap in? So you're going to have to get out of yourself <laughs> or out of the you or the identity and go beyond that. There's a new growth that needs to be nurtured beyond your own personal identity. And for some, for some of you guys, there's something that you need to nurture right now that with this understanding, you don't understand that you need to nurture this. But with a deeper understanding, it all makes sense. So this is for the meditators. <laughs> the people who meditate, who go beyond consciousness. There's something that you pick up there that you need to focus on here. So it's almost like you're bringing something to you. Um, bringing a level of awareness or you're bringing something with you so that it, so that it will always be with you. Or for some of you guys, you're leveling your everything up to it. I hope that makes sense. I'm still kind of like um, decoding this. Because it needs your focus. It needs your attention. And this could be... Um, Anything in life could be a relationship, could be a craft, a new idea that you need to bring into the and bring to life. <clears throat> but you wouldn't know that with your normal level of consciousness, understanding that something needs to be grown. So I feel like something can look dead, or something can look like it's not going to work, or something can look like oh, that's not going to happen. Beyond your awareness, <clears throat> tap into a deeper awareness. All right, what is the affirmation for Libra today? Thank you. I choose to be happy and I am enough. I like those for you today. I choose to be happy and I am enough. What does happiness mean to me? What steps do I take to attain happiness? <clears throat> what does being enough mean to me? What are some reminders I can give myself when I start to feel inadequate? I am enough and I choose to be happy. Beautiful. All right, let's get into the tarot energy. I just went blank for a second there. Like, what do I do next? That could be a question that somebody is asking. Or that's a question that you need to ask before you go to sleep. What, what must I do next? What is the next step? It's a question that you ask right before you go into sleep. So your consciousness or before you go into meditation and it's going to come to you. What do I do next? What is the tarot energy of the day for Libra? The Eight of Wands, movement, movement with the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Action, movement, action. Movement could be conversation, but 
something is getting done today, lots of action, lots of movements. Um, you may find yourself busy, may find yourself talking. Also, this is quick things, quick manifestations coming right to you. Quickly manifesting, being able to quickly get something. So what are you manifesting? What are you working on bringing? What are you working on pulling down or leveling up to? Something has the um, possibility to happen quick for you. The energy of today is action, moves, making things done. There's no stagnant energy today. None whatsoever. And also moving in the right direction. Clear mind, clear movements with this. Clarity. Clarity in the movements and the actions being taken place. Clarity in the energy being taken place. What you don't see, <clears throat> these actions, whether little, small, big, whatever, they bring you to this, 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 this high level of power, right? They bring you to this high level of power. They bring you to this seat, this place of royalty, <clears throat> this place of control, wisdom, authority. And finally, you're being able to see something clear, all right? All right, I'm going into the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle cards that I'm going to clarify with the fairies. What is the morning inspo for Libra? All right, self-placement. Spirit is telling you to forgive, forgive, forgive. All right, um, you have the princess. You can be your own knight. All right, Spirit is going to show you how you can save yourself or you, you can do something on your own. Um, you have the power to save yourself. <clears throat> in a home placement, you do have lavender surrounding yourself with love. There's a lot of love in your home. Um, you might want to surround yourself. You might want to buy a new plant, buy a new candle or light a new candle. Um, crystals in the living room. Put crystals in your living room. But surround yourself with loving energy, even if it's just you. Make sure you make your space that of love, that of life, of life, all right? Um, in your relationship placement, you already have some type of answers. You got voyage. You already know where something is going, okay? Um, you already have the answers on where it's going. And in career placement, you do have morning. The world awaits you, so get up, get up, start the day. Um, this is also like this new, fresh burst of energy. Um, you could be starting something new. Either way, the world is waiting for you. And in your spiritual placement, you have sundress. Do it for you. Spirit is taking you to a place of where it's all about you. Do it for you. What do you want? You're going to be the common, like the, the common denominator. You're going to be the main reason behind why you do something. Or spirit is trying to make you be the main reason of why you do something. All right. Overall, we do have confidence. It comes with time and practice. Overall energy here is confidence. Um, you are feeling like you are enough. 
you could be feeling like you're afraid to do something, but the more and more you step out there, you put yourself out there, you get even more and more confident, all right? And you have garden. Something lovely will grow from this. That new growth, that beyond your consciousness, spirit is telling you to nurture because something lovely is going to grow, all right? Let's clarify. This may be a quick one. This might be a quick one, guys. <clears throat> All right. Tell me more about red. Tell me more about red. All right, you have stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. For some of you guys, the moon is presenting itself in certain areas so you can gaze at it, so you can understand a little bit more about your situation tree wisdom also nature wisdom nature is giving you this wisdom um there's something that's going to happen by winter time all right something that's going to happen by winter time but this is just forgive For some of you guys, you don't know what to do about a situation and spirit is telling you to let it go and accept it. Spirit is telling you to accept the situation and let it go. Tell me more about princess. <clears throat> hidden death, something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Your power, tapping into some type of hidden power is about to be exposed and come to light. Um, Spirit is about to show you exactly how you can support yourself or how you can rescue, your, rescue yourself or how you can save yourself. Um, make sure your intentions are pure. You set your intentions on what it is that you want. But I feel like this is some hidden, hidden, hidden strength <clears throat> that you didn't know that you had, but you always had. That it was just a memory that's been far removed from you. All right. Tell me more about lavender. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Um, surround yourself with love. It, I feel like surround yourself with this loving energy that helps not motivate you. But you're definitely not around energy telling you you can't do something or you're silly for doing something or you shouldn't be doing something. You're around energy that's like, wow. That's amazing or something like that. That makes you spring into action. Be mindful of who you surround yourself with. Um, there's a need for you to find balance between wisdom and temptation. Hmm. That's a strong one. Okay. Tell me more about voyage. What do you know about this? You got moon energy. All right, surrender the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this spray comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. You already know where a situation is going to end up. You already know where something is happening. For some of you guys, there's a relationship that, that is about to involve a baby, a new beginning, a birth. Um, or the birth of a cherished idea. What you don't see is spirit wants you to have a little bit more hope. 
Go outside, go clear your energy. There's magical blessings surrounding you in the relationship. And you already know this, but you see it going somewhere, but you don't have any faith or any hope. Give me more. Tell me more. Give me one more card for Voyage. Thank you, fairies. Magical gateway. It takes courage to trust and venture into the unknown. Yet this is the greatest, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So there you go. Step boldly forward in it. Um, nature is definitely going to be showing you signs, all right? Within a relationship. All right, tell me more about mourning. The world awaits you. The world is waiting for you. Wow. It's this purity, this newness. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. There's this, this is about this new growth, this new, this newness, this idea. Um, believe in yourself. The world wants to see all of your beautiful ideas that you do have. And what you don't know is you'll be celebrating very, very soon. In the next couple of months, you'll be having a big celebration. Okay. Tell me more about um, sundress. Tell me more about sundress. Do it for you. Sundress. Tree wisdom. This triad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds that it makes come together. There's a group of people. There's also a big transformation that you're going through. Life energy too. There's a gathering of souls. Yeah, and a celebration. <laughs> wow, big celebrations. Are you celebrating yourself? Is there something you're supposed to be celebrating, Libra? Tell me more about confidence. All right, your inner child, okay? The phrase of playfulness remind you to make some time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Somebody is having a hard time connecting with their inner child. And it takes time and practice. Also connecting with this inner child is going to build you up some type of confidence, um, but it takes a lot of time and practice. So I feel like there's a person who's removed from their inner child. So the more and more that you practice that something, make something a daily thing, even if you have to do it for just 10 minutes. Just make sure that you're showing up every single day. There's a journey. There's a journey that your inner child wants to take you. All right, let's get into the angel messages. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunity with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you're on. Keep the faith and keep going. <clears throat> Release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding your resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, See money as a tool you can, use to, you, you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. 
and thank you you have let go of guilt all right when you allow your light to shine brightly you inspire others forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that god loves you unconditionally for who you are learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them let go of your guilt have something to do with the inner child too um and also declutter make sure you declutter your space and you have unlimited ideas right now unlimited ideas you can use all of them that was a word for somebody all right so i'm gonna leave your morning inspo right here i hope this reading resonated with you if it does make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed i love you guys and i will see you in the next video